our third uh, interview of the evening, and that is with our friend Harry Waller from Bard City. Let's see if uh, Harry is uh, still with us. Uh, let's see, Bard City, go live. All right, so for those who might not have heard of Bard City, I think they're a relatively new group. I've only seen them uh, for about a year or so uh, on Instagram and elsewhere, and they are uh, transatlantic. They are both in London and in the uh, U.S., in New York City specifically. Uh, and uh, Harry. Work, hello, hello. You are here, right? Uh, do you hear me all can right? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, I can see you. I can hear you. I've got all my senses <laughs> engaged. How are you, Hi, sir? Really. How's it going? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Yeah, good. Thank you. Thanks for having us on. Certainly, certainly. You know, I've, I've been seeing your, uh, your posts, uh, you and your team for Bard City, and it's always so intriguing. You guys have so many different things happening. You have workshops here in New York. You have stuff happening in uh, London. Uh, tell mm -hmm. me about what Bard City is all about. Uh, so Bard City, um, so yes, we're based in both New York and London. Um, mm -hmm. Me and um, an actress called Kirsty Woodward, who are both Brits who live in New York, run the New York um, section. And then our colleague Owen Horsley, uh, who's a director that we know, um, runs the London contingent. Mm -hmm. And we do weekly workshops uh, that you've probably seen on Instagram. We do... Um, uh, work, what we call workouts. So we will pick a theme or a play or a pair of characters and we'll just explore those in a really practical, uh, physical, not particularly academic way. Um, okay. So it's an opportunity for actors to come along and play around with text. Um, where, where in the city are you guys based? Um, so I'm based in Queens. We're entirely online at the moment. We were doing... Um, physical classes for until the pandemic mm -hmm. um but now when did you start off, uh we've been going for nearly two years now yeah okay yeah, yeah it seemed like it. it seemed like about a year year and a half two years i've been seeing you guys around and you're starting to make waves uh so so you're you're uh, a new company you're you just got as i mentioned with Akko, a similar story you kind of get rolling you're doing some events and all of a sudden the pandemic hits and uh, how do yeah, you, yeah. It was, how do you deal with that? Strange. We were just starting to get kind of used to how the physical setup worked, and mm -hmm. get a group of people who would come every week or every other week, and um, and then yeah, the pandemic hit, and we had to kind of work out how to shift into uh, an online format. Mm -hmm. um, but this has been going really well, actually. It's really um, there are limitations, obviously, to what you can do in a Zoom room, mm -hmm. um, and obviously the lack of physical connection with other people. Right. Um, but it's great to actually find out what exercises you can do that, that Zoom actually allows you to do. <laughs> you know, right. um, the, other, the other day we had, um, we were looking at King Lear and we did the um, scene, the uh, re reuniting scene when Cordelia comes to see him and he's um, very sick. Mm -hmm. And um, we played around with the idea of what happens if you um, uh, mute Cordelia so that she can hear everything that uh, King Lear is saying to her but he can't hear anything that she's saying to him hmm. um, so for the actor like what do those um, technical limitations offer like you know offer to as, as, as options mm -hmm. acting options so did you what was your schooling uh, back in London um, so I went to a drama school called Rose Bruford um, mm -hmm. which is one of the it's a, one of the better drama schools, but it's probably less, less well known than RADA. Um, mm -hmm. But I was very lucky there. We had um, a head, our head of voice was a woman called Tess Dignan, who's mm -hmm. now the head of voice at the Globe. Wow. Um, and I then worked in theatre after graduating for about 10 years before I moved here. So I worked for the Royal Shakespeare Company. Actually, that's how me and Kirsty and Owen all met mm, initially. At the Royal Shakespeare we, Company. Yeah, so me and Kirsty are actors and we both work for the RSC and then Owen is a director and he's actually directed at the RSC and he would have been directing, um, co-directing their War of the Roses shows hmm. right now. Um, but obviously that's been postponed for now. But Right. So you guys come with uh, quite a background and, and how are you finding things different in New York as opposed to London? Oh, uh, well, it's is funny, it, you know. Did um, the actors take a different approach here or how is it different? 
Um, well, it's interesting. Um, we, it's funny because we're, you know, we're kind of unusual in terms of we didn't, me and Kirsty, neither of us moved here for uh, the, theatrical reasons. We both moved here because we um, fell in love with American men. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and okay. so uh, that's, that's why we're here. And um, so it's been a process of learning the differences in the industry. It's a very different industry. Um, and learning the differences. Yeah, I guess there are differences in generally in how things are approached. Um, I think because of the uh, swift turnover of things here, it's, there's, there's often, uh, we have funding in the UK, basically government funding for things. So there's just right. more time, I think, in general. Right. Often that, that's a lot more time. difficult to come by here in New York. Yeah, right. And so actually, it's been a really great training for me um, coming here and going, how do I adapt my normal four week process into a, you know, week long, um, you know, uh, process? How do you how, how do you speed up and become more efficient and still get the same right. results? Um, right. But it's it's interesting what we're our focus at Bard City is really about um, personal connection to the text. Um, it's about, you know, engaging, like, what is my voice in these words? How does my voice connect to these words? That's really all of how all of our training and all of our work um, intersects with the, with Shakespeare. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what we, that's what we're bringing. I don't know if that's any different from what anyone else is doing here, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but that's, um, uh, but that's all, that's our focus. So, um, well, it, it's exciting stuff. And you have a workshop coming up uh, Thursday night this week, the 21st, and that focuses on uh, Beatrice and Benedict from Much Ado. That's right. Yeah. So this week we're looking at Beatrice and Benedict. So we'll mm -hmm. be, normally I will send out some scenes in advance. Um, we'll, uh, there'll be some discussion about the characters, some exploration of who these characters are, what might be going on for them. Um, and we kind of operate under the, in the general feeling of like, there are no wrong, there's no wrong suggestions. Like everything mm -hmm. is a possibility. You right. know, you might decide later on that you won't use that decision, but you know, there's no harm in trying things. So all of our, all of our workshops operate in that way. It's playful, it's, you know, ideas. Um, we'll be looking at, um, I, you know, we do do some technique stuff as well, um, but it's always on the, basis of like what works for you so if something works for you that's great if it doesn't i'm not going to be like oh you you missed that thing um, well, you know i'd love to check one of those out and we'll see if i can uh, jump in for one of those sessions yeah that come along. we'd love to have you that sounds um, great yeah. so, so if people want to check you out how can they join you uh so we're on instagram under at bar city um mm -hmm. or you can find us we have a website um although it's quite sprawling because we've got quite a lot of info on it because we're in both London and New York, uh, but that's itsbardcity.com. Okay. Um, and you can, if you want to get on our email list, you just email us at itsbardcity, itsbardcity at gmail.com and we'll chuck you on our mailing list. Fantastic. Um, and we have, uh, we have weekly workshops every Thursday evening, seven to 8.30. Um, we also do readings um, every other, pretty much every other Saturday and some longer weekend workshops as well. So you guys have a full gamut of things that you're up to. Uh, I encourage people to check you out. I'm going to definitely check out your, your stuff. You guys have a lot of fun content coming up. Thanks for uh, and, and it's a pleasure chatting with you tonight, and hopefully we'll connect uh, in the very near future. Yeah, great. Great to meet you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. That was Harry Waller of Bard City, uh, and we are coming to the conclusion of our time here tonight. We 